Cast here. I'm um, going to show you my submission to the TV slash movies car vehicle um, build off that Opa's is having. Opa's die cast uh, restorations, I believe, with a few other uh, well known folks. This is a 75 Chevy Stepside. I'll be turning into John Baker's truck from uh, the TV show Chips Patrol. Yes, I know he had a GMC uh, close enough to this. We're just going to have to get rid of some of the emblems and uh, take it from there. So stay tuned. So here we get a good look at the Chevy step side. It's a great little die cast. I uh, love the paint job on it. Sadly, we're going to have to take it off even though it matches perfectly. <laughs> to John's truck, um, almost even down to the uh, side decals there, the side tampos. Uh, he had a similar design. He did have a roll bar, of course, and a uh, crash bar in the front and did not have a sunroof. So this is gonna take a little bit of advanced skill on my part. I believe he also had a tan um, tonneau cover. So gonna get a lot of building out of this one a lot of experience hopefully and um, looking forward to getting this build going so stick around and you'll see the results all right so for John Baker's truck he had a GMC that was pretty jacked up on some BF Goodriches I had this donor Jeep here matchbox bad to the bone CJ Jeep that was the donor for John's truck. Back tires, just need a little bit more trim. They're pretty good to go. Front tires, however, very snug in there. I've already started to take out some of the material in the front. I'm trying not to cut into the frame here. Um, but I will have to drill out the wheel wells as you can see in order to make this fit a little better but that's about the stance that John's truck was at and uh, that's what we're going to be working with so what we're going to do now is we're going to sand out the fender wells see how that goes And as always, we got to test fit about a hundred times. <clears throat> but we're getting there. Not much I could take off the front, so this is going to have to be cut back quite a ways on the side. Or maybe we'll have to check for different tires, I don't know. I've already cut some out of the back pieces here. Let's 
so and I can't cut them any lower and this is pretty much as deep as you want to go it's not much room there I don't know maybe I'll have to check for another donut pair of tires I do have this Humvee here or at least five spokes weren't very uh, period to the 80s so I'd hate to use those but I probably won't I do have this truck as well much smaller tires these are the original ones on it I'm not gonna cut it obviously <laughs> it's a lot smaller than John's truck was so we're going to mess around a little bit more here and see what we can fit. Catch you back. Well, after about an hour or so, or more, of mucking around with this thing, um, I think these tires are not going to work. <laughs> They're just too big. Um, I'm taking way too much off the body already, as you can see. So... I'm going to uh, shop around this weekend for some new tires for this truck. Um, something a little bit smaller. John's truck never had this much outside of the fenders, so I think I need a tire about probably half this dimension. So for now, um, I'm just going to put this build on hold because I really... Uh, don't want to start painting it in case I have to adjust anything else on the body, but this was a Chevy, so I did take off the Chevy emblem on the front, sanded it off the back, sanded down the sunroof trim because there was no sunroof on John's truck, and I think I might also have to source a bigger bully bar, as this one is good. But, as you can see, it kind of doesn't get to the edges of the headlights, and that would just look silly. Ha, 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 ha.